mentioned chicken pasta is one of my favorite recipes to make. It's creamy, cheesy, and spicy, just the way I like it. Marinate the chicken with all the spices on the screen for at least half an hour. Shallow fry both sides until it's well done. Just look at that chicken. Now in the same pan, add in some crushed garlic and red chili. Saute them for a minute or two. Add in one chopped onion and let it cook together. To this, add in tomato paste and chili paste. Give it a good mix and add in one diced tomato and yellow bell pepper. Add in one cup cream and one cup pasta water with chicken stock cube. Once it starts simmering, add in rest of your spices. To this, add in dried parsley, chili flakes and grated parmesan. I also added a blend of mozzarella and cheddar to make it more cheesy. Add in some salt to taste and finally you can add in your cooked pasta. Combine it well with the sauce. This is starting to look really good. Now you can plate it. It smells amazing and you won't be disappointed with this recipe. It's so flavorful. Top it off with the cooked chicken and enjoy. Frozen garlic bread. How about 15 minute garlic bread? Medium bowl. One cup of salted butter. Soften. A quarter cup. Fresh chopped parsley. Four cloves of garlic. Crush them all. Mince. In half cup of parmesan. Mix together till it looks like this. Shabbat. Cut in half lengthwise. Take half your butter and just spread it on. All over. Don't they just look beautiful? Baking sheet, garlic bread, on, into the oven, 400, for about 10 minutes. Take it out. Oh my lord. Oh, le petit croissant. Oh my lord. About to bust. A little bit of flaky salt, black pepper. She's just right. And juicy. <laughs> because of this recipe, the grocery stores in Finland ran out of feta cheese. Here's how to make it. Add tomatoes, olive oil, salt, and pepper to a baking dish. Then add a block of feta cheese right in the middle. Bake at 400 for 35 minutes. When it comes out, add some fresh garlic, fresh basil, and give it all a good mix. Then add some of that cooked pasta right on top and give everything a good mix once again. And then it's time for the taste test. So good. Is it possible to make Krispy Kreme donuts in the air fryer? Let's dust our cutting board with a little flour and then roll out our dough. Now I actually use mason jar lids to cut out my donut shapes and the tips of my cake frosting for the donut holes. Spray with a little bit of avocado oil and air fry at 350 degrees for eight minutes. Frosting was a third cup of powdered sugar, quarter cup of heavy cream, and a quarter cup of condensed milk. These were light and fluffy and so delicious. Follow me for more recipes. I told you I had this food at home. Let's make some hot wings. I love me some wings. How about you? Make sure your wings are dry and rub them with some salt and cayenne pepper. Heat up some oil in a deep pan. You'll know it's hot enough with some bubbles form around a wooden spoon. While that's frying, we're going to make the sauce. Microwave hot sauce and butter for one minute, or you can heat it on the stove. Y'all hear that, Chris? Mm-hmm. I tried to toss the wings in the sauce like they do at Hooters, but it was a fail. Yep, your girl went to Hooters back in the day. Serve with some blue cheese and enjoy. Follow and share for more recipes. I said, do we have any spicy Latinas in the house? Huh? No. Dude, you promised. Today we're making birria. Yes, a birria tacos. I've seen so many people make this online that I had to try it myself. First and foremost, brown your meat. And for the marinade, we're gonna blend together some crushed tomatoes, vinegar, garlic, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano, chipotle peppers in adobo, and some guajillo peppers that I soaked off camera. I actually have a whole entire bag of these that I don't need. So yeah, comment down below if you would like a pepper. Thank you. Anyways, let that marinate overnight. And when I came back, sauteed some onions through the entire bowl in the pot and topped everything off with chicken stock, bay leaves, cinnamon, and whole cloves. I think I let it simmer on low heat for five hours. Bro, this part, good thing there's no audio because all you would hear is, my hand is burning. Ah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Assemble your tacos. Whenever people make reviews of this, I'm always like, yeah, yeah, you're exaggerating, buddy. Yeah, they were exaggerating, bro. These are some of the best tacos that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I really hope you're not sick of the tortilla churn yet because I have one that's gonna blow your mind. It's basically a fusion between a crunch up supreme and the tortilla wrap. To one corner, add your nacho cheese. Add sour cream to the opposite side. In the third corner, add your lettuce, tomatoes, and Doritos. And in the last one, add your ground beef and shredded cheese. Now just wrap it up, toast it, and enjoy. I'm sick and tired of it. Everyone's saying, oh my god, I love a frappuccino. Ah. We're gonna make one with actual coffee. Block, one cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, mix together on the stove, heat medium high. Once melted, let that boil. Once it turns a nice amber color, whisk in half cup of butter, half cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, brother. Pour into a heat proof container. Let that cool completely. So it looks like this blender, two cups of ice, half cup of cold brew, three quarter cup of milk, three to four tablespoons of caramel. Blend, more blending, hot taste from the sand there you go. Here, you little frappuccino. Nice little world. And of course, some of that. Oh, I think we might have did something right here. Straw. 
Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Thank you. Who needs Starbucks, man? Let's do some cooking. Today we're making onigiri, Japanese rice ball. Start cooking Japanese white rice. I found that jasmine rice wasn't sticky enough. To make the filling, add canned tuna, keeping mayo and sriracha. Use your filling of choice, I even use mashed avocado. Wet your hands with a little water, add some salt, flatten your rice and add the filling. Roll in ball and make a triangle shape. It's helpful when you mold using the seed part of your hand. Cut seaweed in small pieces and add to the rice. This helps prevent rice sticking to your hands when you eat. If you want, you can also pan fry the onigiri in some oil and add some teriyaki sauce and enjoy a crispy onigiri. Make Nutella hot chocolate. Oh baby. Combine about two cups of milk, a nice big spoonful of Nutella, a pinch of unsweetened cocoa powder, a pinch of sugar, a little salt, vanilla extract, and a splash of heavy cream. Stir this up over medium heat until well combined. Pour your hot chocolate into a blender, then blend at the highest speed. Coat the lid of your mug in Nutella, pour in your hot chocolate, add a homemade marshmallow, and give it a quick torch, then finish with some crushed candy cane. Hot chocolate just doesn't get better than this. Mm. Okay, we've got another Code Ramsey. We're attempting his perfect scrambled eggs. Gordon, I hope you're watching that.